grab it. Transmission bolted up to the engine. We also got a mount here, uh, bolted up as well. Nice and solid. And now I need to switch out the post mount to a two bolts instead of a, uh, a three hole like this over here. So real quick, I just loosened the alternator so I can take off the belt, loosen the crank pulley. Make sure you don't lose your uh, woodroof key, that thing. And then uh, I'm gonna take off the timing cover. Here's a bunch of 10 millimeters. Very greasy. Okay. There we go. Oh, yikes. This thing is pretty nasty. I might have to clean that up. Um, while I'm here, I'm also going to do the front main seal. And, um... Yeah. Alright, got the old one off. Nice, nice. And then if you look over here, I have a box full of my brand new gaskets. So I got the cam seals, rear mains, my front main that I need. I got two sets of valve cover gaskets, oil pan gasket, all in this organized box for my gaskets. Now we will install this one. Mm -hmm. Alright, popped out the old rear main I mean front main seal, kinda wiped it down. Chanel's gonna be wiping down the back. It's looking real nice. And then I am taking off the cam so I can do the cam seals. And also I wanna replace the uh, the center VTEC O-ring. Um and then also Oh yeah, I wanted to check if this, this head has ARP head studs because I'm not aware if they do or not, so yeah. Alright guys, we successfully uh, slid the engine underneath. We had to jack the car up, um, it's all cleared, and uh, since this is a smaller jack, we had to kind of do some sacrifices. I took off a few things to make it the clearance a little bit more uh, easy for us. Now what I did was, I dropped, we dropped the car back down and then um, we got the training side up using some wood blocks and enough space for me to slide the uh, jack as you can see down here perfectly underneath that oil pan in the middle and um i kind of messed up this oil pan but we have one that i was going to replace anyways so now we're going to jack it up balance it and then line it up uh, with the tranny mount and with the post mount here okay don't mind my hair it's kind of a mess but we finally got this thing in here I don't know how to I don't know how to switch the camera, but we finally yeah. got it inside the car, the uh, the car now. Yeah, we got it bolted up so we can uh, remove remove the jack from underneath, and um, we just need to do a lot of small stuff here and there to wrap up the uh, um, just everything, you know, like put everything back on, finish the bolt, finish the mounts, finish the timing and all that, and um, but we'll do that for another day because today we spent a lot of time doing this. This is the first time Chanel's done a motor swap. This is probably like my 30th Honda swap, but nevertheless, it was just as fun as all of them. And um, yeah, it was really hard. Um, let me show you the list we had. So we pretty much got this whole list here. Looks like having some difficulties here. This whole list I made pretty much all crossed off, except for like a few of them on the bottom, like the T-bracket and the pan gasket. But I was really start starting to think that we weren't able to do all of this because I'm not that strong and doing this you kind of need them some muscles but um Philippians 413 says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and that's what was on my mind this morning so praise God for this day praise God for this weather because it's been raining non-stop for the past like 
months and months but on the one day that is sunny on a saturday that chanel and i are both free we we're able to get everything we need to get done for the most part and i'm so thankful for that and i'm thankful for all you viewers that are just watching these videos and like so eager to take in our videos and um it really means a lot so thank you